The damage repair? Oh, it's really good. Oh, right here? There. Yeah, turned out all right. Hammer and dolly a bunch of that shit out back here. Working it. It sucks the car's so rust free, but we still gotta do metal work to fix crashes. Some steel ones that it was a weld to seam. Get rid of the bolt on look. I don't know why. The car's 200 feet long and they needed an extra three quarter inches back here. I think, truthfully, they made the deck lid a little too long, so they had to come back and make some little caps to make the fender as long as the deck lid. But either way, we're going to make a little, little sheet metal ones that mimic the factory ones, except for on the side here, we'll get rid of this body line. Be all flushed in, metal work, and ready to go. So we're tucking in the bumper in the car and then we're going to narrow up the bumper to make it flow with the quarter panel. We didn't like the way once we tucked the bumper in, how the bumper end cap fits and flows with the rest of what we have going on. So at some point in time, it's easier to cut it off and get rid of it. And we'll actually fab our own up. We need a little longer and a little shorter in all these different areas. So sometimes a little faster just to start making your own from scratch. And that's what we're going to do. So this section of the bumper here will be handmade, all welded and metal finish. And then when everything's done, when this goes to body and paint, this will go out to chrome and come back. And you can tell, won't ever tell we ever did anything to it other than a super nice fit and finish. That's your ass. Oh. <laughs> Something around about like that. That looks good. Just that flow going down into the peak. So this one was just out real far. And the peak is off, you know close but it's in a little bit need to come out with the peak and then way in here that's our biggest problem with the depth in got the sides tucked in nice it's just this so to redo this piece here plus have to add to it here so get rid of all of it and make it all kind of complicated little deal but we'll do it we make it happen.
We ain't talking. Not no. talking. Do we sing to you? I don't care if you're trying to create your own salary or not. We're not talking. I'll sing to you. I sing your love songs. <laughs> That's not, we're not talking. <laughs> we're going to serenade you. Oh, Scott. I love you, Scott. Oh, Jimmy. We love you, too. But we're not talking to you. Nobody wants to be my friend. You just come in and steal our radio. Like some type of punk police. Feel like a teenager having a party at the house. Police come and just kills the radio. It was a horrible song anyways. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was autograph. Turn up the radio. You don't even know who sang it. Way before your time. You're a youngster. that. Think about that. But you got to stay about that. And jazz it up. All day long we'll do what the factory should have did. All day long. Looks just like that only it fits now. A little bigger. All day long. Ten gauge, bro. Nice I don't need that. Thick! Thick! Twelve gauge over here. Over here. Twelve gauge. I'm working over here. Bring it over here. There. Wait right there, okay? Gotta get up on it! What is that? Huh? What is that? Black thinner. Oh, it's there's, yeah, there's oil through the grease. You see it? They ship it with oil on so it don't rust. And then don't want to right through it. Dude, you're going to be a fabricator one day. I know so much shit, you're just going to start making stuff and don't even realize it. Do a test fit. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Bring that corner around a little bit. Yeah. Better than I was thinking. Hard to remember what corners need to go in and which corners need to come out. Always on our favorite song. Better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Yeah, yeah you're treating the wrong people wrong. You need us. You got no video without us. Now, how cool you think you are? Without us, your videos suck. <laughs> You're an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you make you fucking look good. <laughs> I you know you me. I know you do, but you need us to make people look good. <laughs> Somebody needs us, goddamn.
need, I always need like three here. Yeah, that angle is off. Yeah. So I was gonna make a little piece that would go in there and raise up my bumper cap. See how I tightened up the gap? Oh, okay. yeah. But I don't like the way this is coming out and then it goes in and then the bumper's still going. Got too many funky things. I want this I want this panel, this panel to float with the bumper straight down. Yeah. So by the time I re-massage this panel, take this out and take that out and then make it fit the bottom of the car better than what factory had, it's more the right thing to do just to get rid of the whole panel and build one from scratch. Need it a little taller and a little more angle and then we got some damage in this core. So by remaking the whole panel, we'll get everything that we want, we'll get a better fit We'll get the corner remade where there's some damage. And at the end of the day, we got a better piece for a flush mount bumper on a custom built car. You can't have a custom built car with factory panels, so we make all the panels custom too. How's my gap? Like shit. Here's trying to get me to talk. I know you. You know my tricks. I know your tricks. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I had it all fitting great. I thought I welded it. I welded it and I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to come over here and test fit it. It was like, oh fuck. Now I can't even get back to where I was. I'm just trying to get this center flat to where it's following. You know, the bumper rolls over up there. So pull it out a little bit when I weld it. And it'll be a little better second side come out of here to pull out looking good
All right, so we got the lower section of the valance made. It goes all the way across the bottom of the car. Nice tight gap across the long straight of the bumper. Now in the corners of the body, we got to transition that straight piece I made to the, to the sides of the quarter panel. So we got to do a little like half cone, little shape piece. Kind of got a lot of shape. Looks kind of simple, but pretty much shape there to make, to make all the ends meet. A um, little bit of challenge, but nothing we can't handle. So we're off to doing that now. Desk in the corner where you can oversee oh, yeah. everything. Be like, wait, run down. <laughs> wait, I need that. I'll just set up cameras all over the shop. Yep. Yeah, I gotta cut it in and weld it up and metal finish it like the sides, but it won't never be a part of the bumper, it'll be a part of the body. So this will all be body color and the bumper will be chrome. But I had to, I made that roll pin looking thing. I had to come back, cut it out, notch it in for the license plate. Just trying to match the factory lines of the, of the, license, of the bumper for the license plate. So I just overlap it and I screw it together to make sure I'm going in the right direction. And then I'll come back, describe my line around that, cut it out, and then my piece will fit right in. The screws just help me hold it. It's like a Clico. My, red, my redneck Clicos. Real simple enough. Real subtle touches. Almost stock looking, but not. If I, if I would have did what we would normally would do and tighten all this up and make it cool around the plate, then it looked crazy custom. This kind of looks stock, but like you said, everybody that knows Mopar would be like, that's not stock. Yeah, if you don't know what you're looking at, if, it, if we were doing painted bumpers or something, I would do it a little more crazier, but if we're trying to do like a stock looking chrome bumper with chrome trim and mm -hmm. just doing subtle touches all over. I'll leave it like this so it kind of has a factory appearance. We'll weld these holes up, we'll weld the bolts up, it be shade, it'll be full custom, but have a factory appearance. Pull the bumper off and weld it all up. For days and days. Lots of welding. Yep. Push it. Move it back and make a difference.
this this side here. That's that. It, that yeah, put a damper on things. Old collision damper. It banged on me a couple times. Every time I turned my back, it was like it was moved. past that. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.